Hey, Abby. Ruben, how's it going? I hear you got a job for me. I do. Let's make some pottery. Let's do it. Okay, so this is what I do. Okay. Uh, I make pottery for the table. A lot of it is really inspired by my family and stories of us growing up around the table. This is beautiful stuff. Thank you. So the first thing that you need to do is wedge your clay, and it's a little bit like kneading the dough when you're baking. So basically what I'm doing is I'm moving the clay around to get the air bubbles out. Can yeah. I try? Yeah, let's do it. So when you go down... I already did it wrong. No, you're fine. Instead of pushing down, you're going to like move to the center. Oh, okay. So move almost this motion. Got it, got it. So you want it to look kind of like a bull's head. All right. That's the shape you're going for. There you go. This is not easy. <laughs> Burns a lot of calories, people. <laughs> you got strong hand muscles. All right, I'm worn out. That's as far as I can go. All right, cool. All right, step two, you go. Step let's two. let's move on to the next part. All right. All right. What do we do? Do I sit or yeah. who sits? You jump Me? on the wheel, sit in the bench. It's going to get a little messy. So the first thing you want to do is center your clay on the wheel. Okay. So we want to make a symmetrical pot. And so we're going to put it on the wheel. And this takes just a little bit of practice. So if you need some help, I will help you. I love it. OK. So this is the motion. You're going to okay. keep your right hand here. OK. And then you're going to put the other one right on top. Like and this? Like this. Yeah. Oh. And so this hand is going to kind of be moving in. Right. The important thing is you want to make sure your elbows are really pressed into your thighs. So that's elbows where into you're the thighs. get your power from. Okay. And then you're And I just screwed it up. <laughs> it just <laughs> went okay. nuts. Okay, here we go. And speed up just a little more on your pedal. Whoa. We're going to do one more. Let the pro do it. So you've only done this about a million times. Just a million. Maybe a million yeah. one. There we go. All right, cool. So the next thing you're going to do. Yeah. Is you're going to take this middle finger on your right hand. You're yeah. right-handed, right? I am right-handed. Okay, cool. okay. So you're going to start to, and just always keep your hand supporting. Okay. You're going to start to go right down in the middle and make a hole. Keep it going. Because what we're going to do is we're going to open this rim all the way up so we can start to see the shape a little more. How's that? Keep going. Good. This is so much harder than it looks. <laughs> so I go like that. Uh -huh. And you're going to pull all the way through, and that's what releases it from, this is called a bat. Perfect. Yes, sir. Perfect. Like a boss. Like a boss. It is once it becomes leather hard, so you can feel it's a lot drier. It's still oh, yeah. a little damp. Right, right. It's almost the consistency of like cheddar cheese. And that's when you know you can trim it. So I'm going to show you how to trim it. How do we trim? We get back on the wheel. Oh, great. <laughs> See all this extra clay right here? Hang on a second, I'm displaying the weapon. Oh. <laughs> Let's do it. Cool. And you see, you put a little more pressure. It's supposed to kind of peel like an apple peel. I'm doing, I'm doing it. Awesome. It's happening. Good. How long did it take you to learn this? This craft, this skill, this, this right. art form? I've been doing this about seven or eight years. You're always Went learning, school, keep always learning, learning, still learning new stuff, huh? Yeah. Wow, it's amazing. I could never do it, but it's good. incredible to have a good teacher. All right, last step, Ruben, we're going to glaze. So Love grab it. that bucket for me. And you're actually going to use the power drill. Oh, yeah. See? This is the part I like. All right. Is that too fast? No, that's perfect. Are you sure? Yeah. You just keep moving all the way around. Oh, move. Okay, yeah. now you're telling me. <laughs> so, Obviously, our cup won't be ready for another day, but this is the glazing yeah. process. So what so do we do? So you're going to grab this little guy. This is a little test piece I'm going to put in the crown. Right. You're actually going to use these tongs. So basically, you want to actually really scrub. So you see how. I'm oh, look that at that! Off. So just scrub it off. Perfect. The whole thing, or just the part that touches the bottom? You can do the whole bottom. So the last thing you're going to do is you're going to sign it. So I sign all mine like this. Yeah. So you'll just use that tool right there, and you're just going to write your name. Oh, look how cool that is! Bam! Thanks. A little oh, thick, yeah. right? <laughs> it's a little thick. Okay, Abby, you've seen my skills on the wheel. What do you think? Well, you did a good job, but we might leave it up to the pros. And that would be it. <laughs> Thanks for letting me come Thanks, by. Thanks, Ruben. You got it.